Check out Amuna from the Liberal Democrats. Let's cross the London Bridge and speak to our correspondent, Greg McKenzie. Uh, Greg, what's the situation there today? Are things getting back to normal? Well, good morning. Well, just behind me is the scene on London Bridge. Now, the forensic tent that marks the exact spot where 28-year-old Usman Khan was shot dead by armed officers has been removed, but many of the buses and vehicles are still on the bridge this morning, left in situ. Now, that Friday afternoon, many people were simply told to evacuate the bridge, get out, get away. There was lots of confusion. You will have seen the images. Many people running, screaming. There was lots of confusion, really, pure panic. Pandemonium. Two people uh, killed, three others seriously injured, currently recovering in hospital. Now, the big question is how and why this happened. Now, the Ministry of Justice has launched an urgent review into the licensing conditions of those released from jail following terrorist activities. Now, Usman Khan was one of those convicted in 2012 for a plot to carry out a, a bombing at the London Stock Exchange. He was given six. 16 years, a 16 year sentence. He was actually released early, having served just eight years, released in December 2018. Now, as far as the Metropolitan Police are concerned, he was complying with strict licensing conditions. One of those conditions meant that he had to attend regularly a rehabilitation program to really de radicalize him of his Al Qaeda ideologies. Now, uh, that he go, then went on to carry out that horrific attack on Friday. And many questions are being raised as to why was he released from jail so early. Now, this morning here at London Bridge, there will be a church service to remember those who've lost their lives and, of course, those currently recovering in hospital. Greg, for the moment, thank you very much. Greg McKenzie at London Bridge.